let's add uh, let's make sure that that is not nullable um, that you can't set the title to null and next let's add in a body which is going to be the actual text for the comment so let's um, set that to uh, text instead of a varka so let's search for the text um, field type here okay so here we have it and that also should not be null and next what we need to set is the parent id okay so since we're gonna have nested comments so anytime that you nest a comment inside a comment its parent id will be the comment that it is nested inside of so let's just put that as an int as well and um, its um, length will be 11 so that should not be nullable but it's gonna have a default of zero so any top level comment will have a default of zero that is it does not have a parent id or it is not nested under any other comment so next let's create our created at um, property so we know when the comment was created and um, this is also needed by eloquent by default you can configure eloquent um or rem do not use this um but since that's what we're going to be using and we want to go with the defaults let's set that and its type is date time let's search for that okay so date time and um allow null nope so let me just create another one called updated at and that will be having the um time when the comment was updated um, but obviously we're not updating comments so that will be the same as the created at value okay so that also will not be nullable so um so yeah so that's, that's there we have it um we've set up our database and we've set up the comments table as well so now let's see how insert some temporary data in there so I have an SQL um, snippet that I will use and I'll run it so that it inserts some data into our table. So if you come to the content section here, you'll see all the columns are there, but there's no data there. Okay. So I'll just paste it in here quickly and um, don't worry about this. I'll make them all available once the tutorial is done. So I'll just say run selection. It says unknown column created at. Okay. So let's see. I might have spelled the column name wrong. So created at so i'll just rerun this um, here so as you can see it says five rows affected now when i come to comment to content here you can see we have five comments with um content one two uh, up to five as the title for them okay so next let's go to our terminal i am inside this base folder here as you can see it's the same as what we have in our text editor atom editor that i'm using and um I've linked to all the JavaScript assets down here. That is jQuery, and then I've linked to main.js. At the top here, I've linked to bootstrap.css, which is um, what is allowing us to have all this nice styling for the form and um, stuff like row. So it's just easier to work with bootstrap, okay? So let's install our PHP composer dependencies. We just need two packages. That is the illuminate database and the illuminate events. So we just say composer require illuminate database and illuminate events okay so i'll just let that run and um, once it's done i'll resume the video